Hi folks, Alex Klingel Hafer here with Exential Wealth Advisors. It's 808 here in the middle part of the country on Wednesday. It's August 4th, 2021. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. First and foremost, let's start off here in the US. ADP data came out. That's our first jobs number. The second jobs number we get at the end of the week. That's from uh, the BLS. But the ADP, that's sort of the private company that does job data, disappointed here in July. Only about a 330,000 job print. That's about half of the new jobs that we're looking for. We're looking for about 650. Still see gains in hospitality, still see some small gains in manufacturing. You know, one of the things that I think we're seeing is sort of peak Delta fear right now. If you look at deaths, right, they're not that extreme. Of course, most of those coming from unvaccinated folks. You do have Places like Scotland, where the Delta wave has already passed, takes about 70 days. We're really hitting peak fear when it comes to folks thinking about lockdowns again, putting off hiring decisions for another month or so. Once the wave does recede quite a bit, I expect these ADP job numbers to come back along with most of the rest of the economy. In response to that Delta wave, to that Delta fear, CDC extending the eviction moratorium here in the U.S. for another 60 days. Really just continuing to kick that can down the road. Quite frankly, I'm not sure if this eviction moratorium really doesn't just get extended on into Christmas, right? Through the holidays. It does seem like a very popular thing to do. Hey, you don't want to force folks out of their homes. Ultimately, this is one of the causes of a really, really hot housing market, right? If no one has ever moved out of a home they can't afford, I know it's not a very popular decision, but if no one's ever moved out of a home they can't afford, well, then that supply never returns to the market and the market can never rebalance. So again, it just you know, sort of one of those big uh, unintended consequences of a policy that's really popular. We're going to see a hot housing market really until these properties return to the market and we do have some rebalancing of sort of the normal forces of market capitalism. Last but not least, before we head off to a nice Wednesday, MGM growth is going to be bought by VICI uh, properties, including all of those Vegas resorts. MGM will retain like 1% of the partnership going forward, but really looking to move away from being a real estate company and focus on what they're doing best, which is entertaining clients, which is hosting incredible parties for folks to come and have a really good time at those properties. If you want some additional information throughout the day, throughout the week, feel free to follow me as always. It's Twitter. It's OKCCFACFP. Until then, hope you have a very good Wednesday. I am out.